Welcome back everybody to Kingdom Hearts 2. We're in Agrabah today. And that's all I gotta say. We're off to the dark, swirling void over there that is the Cave of Wonders. And the Cave of Wonders is a lot tamer in this than it is in Kingdom Hearts 1. Kingdom Hearts 1 was one of the most annoying parts of the whole world. In this, it's very, very simple. This is it! Also, Pete's here, apparently. More silver rocks. Very simple enough to deal with. Take that. Ooh, bright stones. I like getting the bright materials. And yes, there are some chests and a sticker behind the Cave of Wonders entrance. Make sure you pick these up. You get a power stone. Oh, we get more enemies too. I'm back. Man, I forgot how good Aladdin's limit is. Holy cow. I just realized I probably should have gone into wisdom form. Because there are a lot of heartless here that I can kill. <laughs> Alright, off into the Cave of Wonders. It looks very different than it did in Kingdom Hearts 1. These are a new type of enemy. These are shaman. They're pretty easy to deal with, though. They can fly out of range of you, but you can hit them with magic or do some jump attacks. These are fiery globes. Not to be confused with the minute bombs. They're actually quite different. But they're tiny little heartless that we can destroy. I like that. Also keep in mind when we're in wisdom form, we uh, cannot use high jump. That's only available for valor form and for normal sword once you unlock the ability. But they deactivate when you're in uh, wisdom form. Take the heal. Alright, well, I didn't quite level up Wisdom Form again, which is a shame. Frost Gem. Ooh, and more bright materials. Lovely. Why does everything take MP? I know I can pop some Efers, but I don't wanna. I'm back! Uh oh. Was that all? Was... <laughs> I just want to get some drive orbs. Wow. I love the giant magnet at the end. And we can almost enter wisdom form again. Which is good. I want to be able to enter wisdom form for one of the upcoming fights. Oh, hi, fat bandits. You guys are back. I probably should have had Blizzard short yeah. it. Oh well. Take that. Take that. Alright. This is a really easy minigame. It looks like something might fit into the pedestal hole. Probably this gem that we just passed. Uh, hi. <laughs> they look friendly. How about we just pick up the gem ourselves and walk over there? But no, 
We have to lead Abu to the pedestal and soothe the wrath of the statues. So we use the reaction command to make him go, and then we can also use reaction commands to make him jump over the incoming waves. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Sora gets the ability Summon Boost, and Donald finally learns how to shoot Blizzard, even though that was the very first spell we learned. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Giant golden evil monkey statue just disintegrates. Well, all right then. New abilities. Sora gets Summon Boost. Uh, where are they? Summon Boost increases the amount of time the summon will stay. Yeah, I want to equip that. That sounds pretty great to me. Donald gets Donald Blizzard. Um, all right, we're going to unequip. Well... I'm going to unequip Donald Fire. Because, honestly, Donald Duck using Fire is not that great because it has, like, almost no range. So I'll equip Blizzard. Once he gets one more AP, I'll re-equip Donald Fire. Materials, blah blah blah. <laughs> the following keyblade is new. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Iago. That statue must have guarded the treasure from would-be looters all these years. Anyway, don't forget that I'm here to help you out, as long as it's not too dangerous. Oh, how <laughs> gracious of you. Complete your task within the time allotted. Let's activate it. Defeat all of the enemies. So this is a, like basically kind of be like the Olympus Coliseum. These are icy cubes. I'm gonna wait for one to attack. And use reflect. Or not. Well, all right. Guess we aren't doing that. <laughs> yes, got the daylight puzzle piece. There are some nasty puzzle pieces you can collect during this, some of which you have to just know where they are when you're falling. Nice going, Aladdin! Ouch. Man, yeah, I'm just gonna abuse Aladdin's limit all the time. It's like the way to recover your drive. Nice going, Donald. Alright, trying to angle the cameras in such a way that I can see where the puzzle pieces are. Alright, there's one in the center. Cool. This is the last battle. Cool. That was really easy. <laughs> Thanks, Donald. Thanks, Aladdin. Your limit is great. Sweet. Out of curiosity, I need to kill 11 more Heartless and Wisdom form before I level up that. Oh, I'm also about to level up my summons as well. That's cool. Next stop up. So you can use that to teleport back to the top. Cave of Wonders map is in there. Nice save point here. And we get an AP boost. Victor of the Trial, you possess great strength. Well, thank you. <laughs> you are too kind. Oh wow, this is nice. I pro I wouldn't touch any of it though, otherwise it'll probably all melt, like in the movie. Ooh, there. That one should do it. P 
Pete's like, how the heck did they beat me to the bottom? <laughs> I had to go and buy a monkey to do that stupid gem and he came. When I got back, he was already done. <laughs> Sure looks valuable. Great. Now let's go get that lamp. <laughs> we gotta keep Jafar bottled up, or he's gonna destroy Agrabah. They also want that. <laughs> hey! Snap out of it, Donald! <laughs> Pete's master of the silent laugh. Oh boy, Silver Rocks. And those are Emerald Blues. At least I think the the darker ones are Silver Rocks, I think the lighter ones are Emerald Blues. They basically function the exact same way. Just some do bot balls of light, some do uh, balls of flame. Oh, back! Then I get the growth ability, which is quick run. Hello. Oh, and it just teleports us back to the peddler's shop. Oh wow. Your wide and hand it over. Oh no, I'm trading it for treasure. This lamp is going to bring me riches. Mm. Oh no, you don't know. Get back here, you little. Okay, yeah, once we follow Pete there, uh, we fight the boss, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> How? <laughs> I need to kill two more Heartless. Alright, so I just need to enter Wisdom Form one more time, and I should be good. I also could use my Drive Recovery, but no, nah, I'll just use Aladdin's Limit again. <laughs> I'm just mashing the X and triangle buttons for that, by the way. Alright, now I just need to find more Heartless. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's go. That'll do. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find some easy ones. No, not the bandits. No, not fat bandits. They're too tough to take out with magic. The bizarre will have some easier artists. Yes! Okay, I definitely have killed two artists now. Come on! Aladdin, stop killing the guys! <laughs> Goofy, I want you instead. Aladdin keeps hogging my glory. What the heck? 
Okay, Aladdin is too good as a party member. He kept killing the Heartless right as I was about to do it. Goofy, Goofy you're coming in instead. There we go! Finally! So now, quick run got leveled up to level 2 in Wisdom form, and we unlock it for regular Sora. Nice. This will make moving around a lot easier. Alright, Aladdin, you can come back to the party. And I'm swapping out Goofy for Donald because now I'd rather use uh, Valor form. Oh, I also need to show off the Knock Smash uh, limit. But why would I do that when I could just use Aladdin's limit more? <laughs> What's also nice is that, as you can see, my drive gauge is also recovering during MP recharge. Albeit fairly slowly. Ooh, an energy gem. Nice. Let's hand over all our synthesis materials. We get an AP boost for completing the collection. Recipes. We can make an elixir now. Oh, uh, it cuts the amount in half. Do we only have one energy gem? Okay, well, I'll go to free development first. Make the Mithril Rain. He's a bright shard. And we get the Mithril Rain. Increases magic and extremely increases maximum AP. Moogle leveled up. You can use up to two extra materials now. Okay, so now we can use, like, a bright material and an energy material if we want. That's nice. So if we had a bright gem, we could use that and the energy gem. We don't. So let's just use the energy gem. We get an elixir. Fully restores the target's HP and MP. That'll be useful for the bonus bosses of the game. Ooh. Let's use a serenity shard and a bright shard. And we'll make the fire a gun bangle. Highly increases fire resistance and greatly increases defense. Bada beam, bada boom. All right. So first thing we're gonna do, uh, Donald, we've got a new rain for you. Instead of the silver rain, the Mithril rain. That'll give him an, uh, an extra free AP. Which means, nope, that's not Donald. Donald, you can re-equip Donald Fire, and yeah. Goofy, you've got a uh, new ability, Auto Healing Restores HP while you re being replaced by another party member with change. That's okay, it's not really worth a whole lot though. I'm gonna sh here, I need to show off Goofy's limit so I can unequip it <laughs> and then equip something else. Knock Smash. So I believe this is the one that got nerfed heavily in Final Mix. I guess that one's okay. That one's not awful. Yeah, I believe in the original Kingdom Hearts 2, that one dealt, like, insane damage. But in Final Mix, it's just kind of mad. And as far as limits go, there are so many better ones. Take that. Ooh, reaction boost. I also think we're now reaching a point where I'm going to have to start using some of these AP boosts on Sora. Uh, I don't need Retaliating Slash on. I've, like, never used it. Reaction boost, so our reaction commands are going to deal even more damage. Which is going to be awesome. Alright, and now, Goofy, you can unequip Teamwork, because I'm never going to use it again. And I'll equip Second Chance for you. Because that's going to be useful for him. Hi! <laughs> oh, hey! Guys, it's time for more Aladdin with it! <laughs> <laughs> well, that is, okay, 
I have must have like literally used Aladdin's limit once and like it finished off all the enemies so it didn't make all the drag worms appear at the end. Holy cow, his limit is so broken. Also, I just I love quick run once you get it for normal Sora. It's so nice. Oh hi! Hey friends! Guys, you know what time it is? <laughs> I'm back! Man, you just, like, can't hurt them while they're charging for this. Take that. Ooh, thanks for the ether. Alright, before we go into the boss fight, I'll just top our HP off at the save point. Yeah, Quick Run just makes you go so much faster. And we'll hand over all of those materials we got. Iago, you're incompetent. <laughs> See? <laughs> nice try, bird brain. Just wait till Jafar's free. He's gonna make one beauty of a heartless. He's back! <laughs> I'm home! Al! It's been eons! Al, you princely little muffin, you! Cosmic travel can get so lonely without a friend! The thing I left you forlorn and genie-less! Oh, the humanity! <laughs> genie? Hey, Al, have you been putting up weight? Al, of course! What am I saying? You're living at the palace now! Aladdin! Jasmine! <laughs> I don't think that's Robin Williams. I can just picture it. Wait, tell me, am I being a pest? Just a big blue pest? Oh, who cares, Al? I'm just so glad to see you! Genie. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'll teach you to make a fool out of me! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, big group hug. Time group hug. <laughs> I'm finishing you mugs off right now. Kind of interesting how Pete has just complete control over the heartless. I know Maleficent gave that to him, but like, come on. So here's the fight, the boss fight of Agrabah, the twin lords. So you got the fire lord and the ice lord. And this is a pretty sweet boss fight, if I do say so myself. <laughs> So, while they're bouncing around, you can use their reaction command and throw them into each other, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go power form. Okay, um, yes. So, I was wondering when this was going to happen. Uh, as you can see, we are not in power form right now. We are now a shadow, heartless Sora. This is known as anti-form, and this is what happens when you use your drive forms too much. Every time you use a dry form, you have a chance of entering anti form instead. Anti form kind of sucks because you can't voluntarily leave it once you enter it. You can't heal, you can't use items, you can't use magic. All your party members disappear, and 
Your combos are pretty cool, but they're honestly not super powerful, and you're basically totally defenseless when you're in this form. So, it kind of sucks to use, uh... <laughs> And there are some th what determines whether you go into anti-form or not are very, the mechanics are really complicated. Basically, every time you use a drive form and you don't enter anti-form, your chances of entering anti-form next time increase. And once you actually enter anti-form, the chances that you go into it next time decrease, basically. And there are certain boss fights that make entering anti-form a lot more likely to happen. I'm not sure if this is one of them, though, but eventually once you fight the Organization 13 members, the chances of you going into anti-form in those fights is a lot higher. And... yeah. So that's why we're in this situation. So you can see the combos look pretty sweet. And anti-form is kind of there- we also can't use reaction commands. Anti-form is kind of there to, like, represent Sora's growing darkness inside of him. Because do you remember in Kingdom Hearts 1, he turned into a Shadow Artist. So that's kind of where this power comes into play. And the Twin Lords will, um, split into, like, Fiery Globes and Icy Cubes, uh, as you beat them up. No big deal, though. And unfortunately, Antiform took every last bit of drive that we had, which is unfortunate. It's time for Aladdin! <laughs> Not the most powerful limit, but hopefully that'll boost our drive a little more. That did not boost my drive nearly as much as I wanted it to. Okay, so we defeated the Fire Lord, so he'll leave us alone. We defeated Fire Lord Ozai. Now we just defeat the Blizzard Lord and boom. Now we get a new move, Finishing Leap, and Goofy can wear more armor now. I love that boss fight, it's really cool. Pun intended. But that's just like a fun fight, and you can see just how powerful we are now that we're in critical mode. <laughs> you, you messed with me for the last time. I'm gonna get you yet. Uh-huh. Yeah! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Oh, apparently Pete didn't have the lamp. He either dropped it or, like, Genie made him drop it or something. <laughs> and we're sealing it away in the Shadow Temple, apparently. I promise you won't regret giving me another chance. Honest! Uh, Princess Jasmine, uh, you sure you want that pigeon in the coop? Oh, I think Iago's shown that he means well. Ah, uh, sure, you're probably right. And how much trouble can one noisy bird cause? <laughs> you might just have a point there, kid. Oh wait, that was Sora's tongue. What happens next, Sora? Well, it was great seeing you all, but we still need to find Riku and the Keen. I guess we'll be moving on. I hope you find them. Me too. Hey, where's Aladdin? He ran off toward town looking for Abu, but he should be back by now. I can't miss Sora's big farewell party! I'll have him back here in a jiffy! I can't do the genie's voice at all. Abu! Catch him! Look what he stole from the Cave of Wonders. No! He must have secretly stolen it from the Cave of Wonders. <laughs> well, I guess some things are just hard to resist. <laughs> It's a good thing Abu stole that from the Cave of Wonders, because that reveals the next keyhole, somehow. <laughs> and yes, as you can see, I'm still using the Hercules Keyblade. I don't intend on changing that until, like, 
<laughs> till more than halfway through the game. It's seriously one of the best keyboards in the game. Sora? What is it? I think it's time for us to go. Will you be back? We will. I promise. <laughs> I, I, you better believe I'm going to be back, Aladdin. I need to use your limit even more. <laughs> And we get the Lamp Charm! With the help of two friends, use the summon command to call for Genie for a helping hand. So yeah, Genie's a summon just like he was in Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories. He's a lot better in this. In Kingdom Hearts 1, he was an absolute joke. In Chain of Memories, he kind of sucked because he was very much outclassed by the other summons and your magic attacks. In this, I mean, Genie's not a great summon, but he's definitely better. So how Genie works is Genie can like mimic your drive form. So you can have him be Valor Genie or Wisdom Genie. And he doesn't really do that much, but he gives you access to special Genie limit commands. So that like Valor Genie and Wisdom Genie. Valor Genie is like a really powerful physical attack, whereas Wisdom Genie is more of like a magical attack that works at a range. Neither of which are particularly good, but as we learn more drive forms throughout the game, the Genie gets more drive forms as well. So some of his limits can actually be pretty powerful. I'll show them off in the future. Maybe waiting isn't good enough. My thoughts exactly. If you have a dream, don't wait. Act. One of life's little rules. Got it memorized? Who are you? Axel. I happen to be an acquaintance of Sora's. Why don't we go see him? <laughs> yeah, you're not suspicious at all. You just came out of a corridor of pure darkness. We've got something in common, Kyrie. You and I both miss someone we care about. Hey. I feel like we're friends already. <laughs> You're not being creepy at all. <laughs> You're not acting very friendly. Kyrie just runs into the, the portal of darkness. Maybe Axel shouldn't have called the Dusks. <laughs> the Dusks don't exactly look very friendly. <laughs> Okay. Also, Kyrie, like, <laughs> that is one short dress. Also, your dress is covered in zippers. You and that dog came flying out of a hole in the wall. He nearly gave us heart attacks. <laughs> also, I just realized, like, she's wearing Naminé's dress under her pink dress. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> and a new world has been opened. Also, Twilight Town's back. Look at there! Twilight Town! Yep, I can see it! It's back again! 
So if we want, we can go to Twilight Town and continue the storyline there. However, if you're play if you go there right after beating Agrabah, and especially if you're playing on critical mode, you're probably gonna get your butt kicked, because there's a very difficult fight you need to do there. And I strongly recommend you at least clear Halloween Town before doing that, because we'll get the final magic spell after Halloween Town, which will greatly help us out for that fight. Also, now, I'm mistaken, I believe if you go to Twilight Town, it railroads you into completing the main, kind of the rest of the main story. Actually, maybe not. And there's a way to get locked out of, as you can see, the Lion King world there. And you basically can't go to the Lion King world until it goes to the end of the game, which is not ideal. So next time on Kingdom Hearts 2, we're going to Halloween Town. I love this world. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I think this is the, the best version of Halloween Town in the Kingdom Hearts series. So that would be a lot of fun. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.